Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today. If you would, again, I ask you to like, share, and to comment on the post. And then uh, we will be back in Acts chapter 20 today and looking at uh, verses 20 and 21. As Paul continues to address uh, the elders from Ephesus uh, before he leaves for Jerusalem, um, he's going to give us um, kind of a testimony. Um, well, really a testimony so much as his credentials, I guess, um, as he tells us in verse uh, verse 20 uh, that uh, he says, I, I've, he's already told him I've been serving the Lord uh, in spite of all the uh, adversity and the plots against me. And in spite of that, in verse 20, he says, I did not shrink from declaring to you anything that was profitable and teaching you in public from house to house testifying both to Jews and to Greeks of repentance toward God and of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, this is uh, just a, a marvelous uh, passage, um, uh, another, as we see so many times with Paul, uh, just a, another model uh, for what the church should look like today, how Christians should be uh acting that what our what our life should be like uh as we see him here sharing with us um his urgency of sharing the gospel of encouraging people and several uh move kind of quickly here um but uh, several things he points out first of all uh he, he says i didn't shrink from uh declaring to you anything that was profitable uh, he, he taught everything uh, in the gospel. He taught the word of God uh, plainly and simply. Um, he, the, the Greek word there means he didn't draw back. He didn't hold back uh, any part of the gospel. He didn't, uh, he, he didn't skip over the hard parts, uh, but he proclaimed uh, the whole truth. Uh, that uh, he, he he preached uh, the entire word uh, again, even when it was uncomfortable, uh, even when perhaps his uh, audience would uh, have preferred he uh, he skipped over those verses. Uh, that uh, he would have continued. Uh, he continued to teach uh, the complete truth. He didn't uh, flower it up. He didn't dress it up. Uh, but he spoke on the, the level uh, of the people. He also, uh, it says, he, he did it in public and house to house. Um, he, uh, he used every opportunity uh, to preach the gospel. He used it, if he uh, had the opportunity to stand up in front of a crowd, he says, I did it. If I needed to go house to house, I did it, um, and uh, you know whatever I had to do uh, to go and get the gospel uh, proclaimed in uh, in front uh, of every person, testifying. He says uh, both to the Jews and the Greeks. Uh, again, th this means he was teaching uh, powerfully. Uh, he proclaimed the truth. Uh, with integrity, uh, he spoke with authority. Would be another way of uh, of saying it, uh, and uh, that he was a uh, on a mission uh, from God as he proclaimed uh, the, the the message. Uh, then he says he did that both to the Jew and to the Greek. And uh, what he's saying there is that um, he, he didn't pick an audience. Um, he, whoever would listen. Um, again, if they were Jew, if they were Greek, um, wherever he had to go, whoever, uh, rich, poor, uh, whatever their background, uh, he, he would proclaim to them uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then finally he says uh, that what he was preaching was repentance. Uh, and so what we see is, he says, I didn't back down uh, from the whole word. Uh, I would do it in public or I would do it house to house. I did it no matter their nationality, no matter whether they were rich or poor. What did he do? He preached repentance towards God. He preached the necessity of repentance uh, and, and proclaimed uh, that message. That is still uh, the model we need to be following uh, as believers today. That we don't shrink, 
Uh, if we do it in public, we have to go house to house. Uh, regardless of who they are, where they are, um, we continue to preach repentance. You must be born again uh, and that we continue uh, to proclaim that message. That needs to be our prayer uh, each and every day uh, that God gives us another another sunrise. Uh, Lord, today don't let me shrink from declaring the gospel. Don't let me shrink from declaring the good news to anybody anywhere. Hope you'll take advantage of that today. Uh, that as you go out, as you go in uh, to to work or to the malls or shopping centers, wherever you go in your neighborhood, uh, that we won't shrink uh, from proclaiming repentance. Think about it. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.